Let's discuss a common failure that occurs when performing a battery service or battery replacement on an 07 and newer GM truck or even on some VW cars. They use this tapered style bolt with a connector here and so as you tighten it down it squeezes the connector tighter on the terminal. Now over time either somebody over torques it and weakens it or they end up uh, cross threading it or due to corrosion it's very difficult to get off and quite often this will snap. Well previously the only fix for this has been to replace the entire terminal or there's been a couple backyard fixes as you see here where somebody's used a screw and also a hose clamp to try and get the proper tension on here. None of those are very much what we would consider a professional repair. So now today we've got a new hold down bolt that works perfect with this OEM style connector. Now if somebody's already gone ahead and changed the connector style, it's going to be a little different. But if it's an OE style connector, this is going to be a perfect fit. You'll notice on the package here, it says torque to 5 newton meters or 44 inch pounds or 3.6 foot pounds. Over tightening may result in bolt breakage. It's very important not to over tighten this or you're going to snap it off or cause breakage again. So let's go ahead and clean this connection up here a little bit. We're going to take our new bolt out and we'll torque it properly and the job will be done. No need to do a, a hack type repair or to replace this whole connector. All right, we've done a little bit of cleaning up on our uh, connection here. We've cleaned the terminal on the battery. And so now we're going to take the new bolt here and I'm going to slide it up in there. I'll put the washer on and then start the nut. Just kind of loosely put it in there. And then we'll slide this down in place. I'm going to take my torque wrench. I've got it set to 44 inch pounds and I'll do a little bit of snugging here. Get that snugged up. Work it down. And wait to feel the click there. Indicating that I've got this properly torqued down and we've got a good tight connection there. Now you can see how we've simply made a repair versus having to make a major replacement here.